West Lafayette, the scene that unfolded on Saturday was one that's been common around Purdue football in recent years. Fans flooding toward the exits. An impatient fan base raining boos onto its team. Backups playing out the final, meaningless minutes of the blowout. But this time, there was one significant difference, the Boilermakers were on the other side. Instead of absorbing punches, as they've done so often, they were throwing them. Purdue scored touchdowns on each of its first three series to jumpstart the offense. The Purdue defense held Mizzou's bipolar offense to just three points and the Boilermakers routed Missouri, 35-3. With the win, Purdue snapped a troublesome streak. It is now one back-to-back -back games for the first time since 2012. I've been through a lot in four years here. Ups and downs, Purdue quarterback David Blow said. This is the biggest win I've been a part of, easily. On the road. Against an SEC team. It means a lot to me to be a part of it. It was fun. It's very fun. Winning is fun. Beating Missouri on the road in a game where we're seven-point dogs, it feels pretty good. Blow earned his first start of the season. He completed 22 of 28 passes for 187 yards and a touchdown. He also ran for a five-yard score thanks to a nifty pump fake. For the second straight game, Purdue had some balance to its offense. The Boilers passed for 272 yards and rushed for 205. The defensive performance, while impressive, was also somewhat expected. First-year coach Jeff Brome's reputation as an offensive guru is well documented. He took advantage of a Missouri defense that was already dysfunctional before this lopsided loss. The Tigers fired their defensive coordinator DeMonte Cross in the days leading up to the game and looked out of sorts throughout the contest. The Boilers neutralized a potent Mizzou defensive front that Blow praised on multiple occasions with a quick passing game early and then pounded the ball on the ground late. What was more surprising was the way the Purdue defense performed. The Tigers have plenty of potential on offense with a 3,000-yard passer, 1,000-yard receiver and 1,000-yard rusher from last season returning. Anticipating a shootout, Vegas odds maker set the over-under for the game at 76.5, the highest of any Division I game this weekend. However, Purdue exposed Missouri's inconsistencies. The Boilers held Mizzou to a modest 203 yards of total offense, 70 rushing and 133 passing, while forcing three turnovers. I thought it was a dominant defensive effort from the beginning to the end, Brome said. We made them earn it. Purdue jumped out to an early 21-0 lead, scoring on each of its first three series. Blow got the Boilermakers on the board first with a nifty five-yard touchdown run. He felt the pressure, stepped up in the packet, made a defender miss with a pump fake and scored. The Boilermakers marched down the field on back-to-back -back possessions following Blow's score. Terry O'Fuller scored on a 36-yard run, and Richie Worship rumbled in from three yards out. The Boilermakers took a 28-3 lead into halftime. If there was any chance that the second half would be different, linebacker Marcus Bailey snuffed it out. He intercepted Missouri quarterback Drew Locke on the first possession of the second half and returned it 21 yards to the three-yard line. Blow hit Worship for a one-yard touchdown pass to extend the lead to 35-3 and the route was on. There was a play on the first series where they threw the same route in the same coverage we were in, Bailey said about the interception. I knew that, if I was in that coverage, I wasn't going to let them throw that play again. I saw the quarterback look over there and I anticipated it. Now Purdue players can begin to anticipate what next week will be like against a much stiffer challenge. The Boilermakers will welcome number 7 ranked Michigan to Ross Aid Stadium for homecoming. A year ago, Purdue was booed into the locker room at Ross Aid Stadium during its homecoming game against Iowa in what turned out to be Daryl Hazel's final game. If nothing else, Blow expects a different reception this year. I was checking my phone at halftime to see the ticket sales, Blow said, smiling. I'm just joking. I hope what Purdue football is right now is a team people want to show up and watch. That they can support and be behind and have some momentum they haven't had in a while.